Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Enura. If you're new to my channel, if you're my subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. I would like to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, by the time this video will be out, uh, probably it's going to be early January. So I'm very sorry. Uh, happy holidays, happy belated holidays. I hope you guys all had beautiful holidays. Um, I hope everyone is safe and healthy and I really wish every everybody the best uh, in this new 2024 year. Personally, in my family, we don't celebrate Christmas. Uh, it's just not in our culture, but my kids really love Christmas, uh, New Year's and all these festive holidays. So we do celebrate kind of like Christmas but uh, it's not on the 25th it's on 31st so we combine Christmas and New Year's and we celebrate just like Christmas uh, on the 31st so on the 31st we have a Christmas tree we have presents under the tree so and kids leave a cookie and milk a day before so everything is same but we just it just happens in our culture on the 31st we celebrate very very beautifully and very outrageous new year so we kind of combine new year with Christmas and, and we have a Santa Claus we have all that kind of just like a Christmas but on the new year if it makes sense so um, uh, we do gift each other, but mainly it's for kids. We gift, we do gifting, but it's just to, towards kids. So we, I don't really have what I got for Christmas. I did get a few presents for a new year. Um, I'm not sure if I will show you guys. Probably I will later. But this video will be all my best purchases of 2023. I went through all of my purchases during the year and I picked out the best of the best that I really, really, that I'm really happy with. So it's going to be, uh, hopefully it's going to be a very, very uh, useful and helpful video uh, to see if I made great purchases. To be honest, I made very good purchases. There's not, There's almost no worst purchase everything almost the best so it was very hard for me to pick out like the best of the best so hard so i think i picked a lot i picked too much i could because i couldn't make the best of the best they are all best uh when it comes to purchasing i got very picky when i'm purchasing something anything anything in life like i'm so 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 picky uh, especially do, uh, when I'm buying something designer, I have to be really, really 200% sure that I need that stuff, that I need specific uh, bag or jewelry or anything, um, if it's actually worth buying. I don't buy something and I and I collect it. I don't collect it, I buy stuff and it actually has to work for my wardrobe, for my lifestyle. So I do not buy a thing that just just to have. I buy it to use it, to love it, to really, really like use it. So hopefully it makes sense. So that's why I have many, many, many best purchases that I want to show. And the first item that I want to show that I have been using every day since I got it is my Chanel um, zipped card holder, card whatever, like a wallet. It's not a card holder. I, I feel like it's just more wallet. So I, it has a back pocket and that's the best uh, thing for me because you can just put few more cards here that you need for every day. For me, it's like a work card access uh, card. It's just, um, I don't have to like pull it out the work card. It use it, it can work just like when I'm using it. Um, I just have to pull out the wallet and then use it against the wall to open the door, to open the elevator. So this is like the best. It's in the caviar leather with the gold hardware. It, it's an accordion style, so it actually fits a lot. I have cash, I have many cards inside, I have receipts, and I have few cards uh, here. Usually I have my work card access and my loyalty um, um, Arabica coffee 
card. It's a percentage. It's called percentage card. So you you stamp it and then you get like a free coffee once you get 10 stamps. So I, I have like this stuff, just handy stuff here. This is the best, best wallet. One of the best wallets in my um, in my lifetime, to be honest. I do have... I don't have many car, uh, many wallets in my collection. I sold many things, and I only have three wallets in my, I think three or four wallets, and they are all the best. But for this year, this year I purchased only this wallet. I think no, there's one more, which did not make this made this video. But uh, this one was the best wallet purchase in my in this year. So 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 recommend this. The next two items are pretty much the same thing, but in different colors and in different uh, length. So, um, width, sorry. These are my Celine belts. Uh, I have the larger one in the black, and I have it a thinner one in the um, tan color. So, I actually bought the black one in London uh, on September. And since then, I wore it non-stop. And then after uh, after I I used so much this one, I wanted something lighter, something uh, a belt to use for my lighter outfits. So that's why I got the thinner one with the same uh, Triumph uh, design. Uh, I actually really needed. Uh, belts because I had twins uh, last year and my body kind of like inflated um, so I cannot use any of my um, belts that I have in my collection that, that I have at all like nothing works for me everything is so small so I kind of like felt so sad but then I'm like no way I'm gonna gonna be sad I'm gonna go and get even better a new belt that I always wanted so this was the best excuse to get bigger um, and bigger belts so I used to be 80 centimeters all of my belts are 80 centimeters now I go for uh, 90 I think yeah I got 90 centimeters um, in these two belts just a second yes they are 90 centimeters and they work for me so well I love it so much. They are kind of, uh, I don't know, like if I call understated, they were understated, but now many people loving it, many people getting it. So that it's not really understated, but it's not really tacky like LV or Gucci or Hermes H belts. So I feel like they work so well for anyone, to be honest. The next items are shoes. I uh, did not get many shoes this year, but I want to highlight uh, four shoes, four pairs of shoes that I truly, truly, truly love this year. The first shoes are my Prada Mules in the beautiful um, stones, rhinestones, whatever, Swarovski stones, whatever they are. They are so, so embellished. They have very little kitten heels. They are in satin. I bought them uh, because I do have Prada, uh, the same exactly bag in the stones, and I love that bag so much. And I wanted these um, to match whenever whenever I go out. I want to match my bag with my shoes. It's kind of tacky, but it, they actually do really work. They, they are so beautiful on the feet. They are... They are very comfortable as well. It's just the heels, everything just works. I like how they are thick here, so your shoes are really, really stable. It's not like, they're not like kind of like shaking or anything. They are really well made. And I wear this few times and I don't have any like stones falling off. Even my bag does not have any stones falling off. So they are really great going out shoes. I have a heel spur. I got it during my pregnancy and um, it, it means your feet inflammates. I think it, you have an inflammation on your feet. So that's why I'm very picky with my shoes. I really have to like 
I have to be very picky because my feet really really get sore so the next item that are the best uh, purchase in for this year is this uh, Fendi Calibri heels I got this actually for a steal I got it uh, in, from the pre-loved uh, store and they were they came almost like a brand new condition to be honest I have not worn this but I already have a pair of Calibri shoes and I I know how good they are that's why I had to add this to my uh, to this video because I love them already before even I wore this like I did not wear these but they are my best purchases because I got it for a steal for a pre-loved uh, from a pre-loved store um, I did not pay full time so I did not pay full amount and I, I got it in this beautiful like this velvet FF uh, Zuka print they are the best seriously like I am waiting for an occasion to wear these the next two shoes are my um, kind of casual shoes let me start with the with the Chanel ones okay I'm sorry they're a little bit kind of dirty uh, when I went to London these were the shoes that I wore every day to be honest I never understood why people rave about these Chanel sneakers I did not understand until I actually got it myself and I did not stop wearing them as you guys know in London you walk everywhere and you really need comfortable shoes especially with my condition with heel spur I have to have comfortable shoes whenever I'm walking they are so like um, comfortable but yet they are stylish as well they are Chanel but they are not like loud Chanel they are very muted Chanel as you guys see um, the Chanel is embossed and in the front you don't have anything Chanel but just like little like here like a plastic thingy here and they are so good they are so good I love them so much they have this like towel material uh, in, inside it's, it's like a towel material and I feel like because it has this towel ma uh, material inside it's everything like it just makes your feet like you're walking on the cloud to be honest they work really good with all of my outfits like my casual outfits just really really the best sneakers next ones are my Laura Piana um, summer walk I think uh, loafers in the suede in this beautiful um, I don't I forgot how I think it's tea something tea um, uh, color I, I'm gonna write here what what the name of the color but to be honest I really did not like Laura Piano uh, loafers because everybody wears Laura Piano loafers in Dubai and I feel like it's just so like I don't know everybody wears it and I hated it I was like why are people wearing this ugly uh, loafers until I actually got sore feet and nothing worked and then I was so tired of wearing sandals so tired of wearing sneakers and I wanted something in between and that's why I my one of my friend is actually like why don't you get Laura Piana uh, loafers I was like what like are they comfortable she was like yes they are the best loafers you have to get it you really have to try it if you have sore feet if you have wide feet they're the best I was like okay you you just sold it to me so that's why I got them in, in this beautiful color I loved it so much they are kind of like a neutral green color avocado color so they are actually the best they have the best sole and um, the material here is fully like a suede I think and even inside it has very very like nice um, nice like lining I love it so much it doesn't restrict your feet your feet is like kind of really relaxed it doesn't have to like restrict it doesn't have to be like restricted by the sides because I do have wider feet and I have like sore feet that's why I they are definitely worth the 
the rave about it because like and now I want another one I'm not sure which color I should get but they are really great the next two items are best uh, I would like to add uh, to this video are my jewelry from Van Cleef jewelry first I got recently the Van Cleef Alhambra vintage Gyochi ne uh, nut necklace um, the necklace is here, but I, I got it last year. This year I added the earrings and they are the best um, like jewelry purchase like in my, I don't know, like in the last few years. Like to be honest, I never thought like I liked that, I would like this, but they are so, so good. Like now I would say like if you're going to get a first piece, um, I would I used to say like the necklace is the best piece but now I'm kind of like changing that I feel like the, the earrings are the best as well like it's so, they're so good they're so elegant they work for day uh, like a day wear and they also work so good for like a night going out earrings they are not huge and they're not small they're very like kind of like very good size for every day for going out and they are so elegant I love how they, they shine every time you are moving your head they like shine from right to left like from every angle like they are so good even my husband is like yeah I love these earrings even though like he's very picky with um, jewelry as but like even he likes it. Like that's that means a lot. Uh, the next best purchase, of course, it has to be another Van Cleef. This year, I got really lucky with Van Cleef, I guess. Um, so th this is the five motif Van Cleef um, Yoshi five motif bracelet. Yes, I. <laughs> Because I already had the necklace from last year, I wanted kind of like fulfill the the whole like look. So I got the the bracelet as well, and I love them so much. I thought I wanted the ring as well to match the whole set, but I feel like the ring is too much. It's too matchy matchy. So I stopped myself from the ring. But these are my best purchases. I do not wear this bracelet every day because I already have a stack um, with my other bracelets. So that's why I it's not on my wrist, but I do love this wearing by myself by itself with the watch. So I'm not wearing it now whenever I'm going out and I need to be extra when I'm whenever I'm wearing a smaller watch that that's when I wear this bracelet. I feel like um, I am leaning kind of towards more jewelry purchases instead of bag purchases. I still like bags, I love bags, but I realized that, I mean, I didn't, re I didn't realize it now, but I realized even more this year that I want to invest more in jewelry. Um, so I will cover my like what I have, what's new in my jewelry very soon because you guys already noticed that I have a tennis bracelet and tennis necklace uh, on me and yes, I have been investing so much in diamonds recently, uh, like this year so I will cover more about what's new in my jewelry very soon the next items will be bags and I did buy quite a few bags this year. I also sold many bags. I think I sold eight, in total of eight bags this year, but I purchased around the same amount as well. So it doesn't really count, right? <laughs> so I recently got this uh, long charm, like I think it's raffia bag. Um, I got it this for our Mauritius holiday. We recently went to Mauritius with the family and I got this for that purpose and I loved it so much. The size is so great. My daughter has the same in the green, 
in the smaller one I actually it was actually mine but because it was too small I didn't really use it so I gave it to her but I wanted something like not really expensive but still like a a good quality raffia bag and I got this before the holidays and I wore this every day and I actually wear it during the day now like in Dubai because it's hot here still it's not there's it's not a, like a proper winter so I really like wearing this like with light denim with like a brown uh, my brown chipri sandals and this like with white t-shirt and it looks so good it's actually very spacious as well. It it just it actually like uh, I I had a lots of things inside during the holidays, and uh, it has detachable uh, crossbody strap, which is very convenient, and it's made very well. It's not that expensive. Look, you guys, I've been like using nonstop. It's actually been a little bit I see a little bit wear already, but like if you guys looking for a budget friendly holiday bag. Oh, long chong, got it. The next best purchase, uh, bag purchase of my in this year, I have to give it to my Fendi Sunshine Tote. Um, I got it uh, quite like recently this bag, and I already like being obsessed with it. Like I've been wearing it nonstop whenever I go out during the day, and whenever I just feel like I don't know, like when. Even if I'm wearing like just a simple outfit, this bag kind of makes me like very ladylike. I don't know, it has this like vibe, a very ladylike vibe. Even though it's kind of like a, just a simple square bag, it has, it doesn't have many shapes. But because, because of these handles, because of this beautiful hardware and just the stitching, everything, this bag just kind of amplifies the outfit so well. I love it. It has a cross, I mean, like a crossbody, like shoulder strap, a long one. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's actually a great everyday bag. The size is great. I love that I picked up a lighter color because I do have many, many dark bags in my collection. So this year I've really been working to get more like lighter, more like, uh, brighter color bags so I love this so much uh, I don't know like that many people really talk about this bag but I feel like um, it's one of the best bags okay I have three more bags to show uh, I, this is my pre-loved find I found this early uh, this 2023 year and I got it from a pre-loved store here in Dubai. I, whenever, when I saw the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, is that a flap bag from, from Chanel? And the, the moment I started like looking at it, it's actually stuff. It's actually a just a single flap bag. It has this the front pocket. It has just like a exactly like a chanel classic flap it has even like dark burgundy color uh, in, in interior and it has this cc on it i don't know i do not know from which year this bag is but it's so great i love it so much it is a seasonal one it has no back pocket but it does have a strap like this you can wear it on your shoulder you can wear it as a crossbody and the bag is so wearable not like a classic flap I do have a classic flap and it's not really wearable it's very bulky and I do not really like how bulky it is and this bag it's kind of like the casual version of the classic flap which works so well for my for like every day so I've been really loving it I got it for a such a great price uh, I couldn't believe it. I got it for like roughly $2,000 from a pre-loved store. The best Chanel flop, to be honest. The next bag I want to talk about is my Bottega Veneta Mini Jody in this beautiful racing green color. I think it's called racing green. I This is like the older version. It has It's a little bit wider because... Uh, 
after this version, Bottega wanted to change the shape of the mini Jody. It's more like a moon shape, but this one is a little bit wider. And I always like the wider version because I, I just, I like the aesthetics a bit more. And I love this green color so much when it, when it, they just came out. But I couldn't justify the price with the, the size of the bag. So I kind of passed on it but I loved it and then I was like after I got my small Jody which I'm going to show I got this small Jody last year and after I got this I was like oh my gosh I love the Jody so much so that's why I remembered how much I like this and I found this from pre-loved store as well and it was the best decision First of all, green color is my favorite color and whenever I just need to run errands and I'm only carrying a like card holder, phone and a, like a few more things, this is like the best little thing to carry. It has almost no weight, it's very malleable to your body, it's such a great little bag. Whenever I'm going out with my, even with my kids, I have a big diaper bag, but then I want to be cute uh, with like small bag. That's why I reach out for this bag for so much. This is such a great like little bag, even when, if you're a mom with baby, because we have a big diaper bag you don't want to carry diaper bag everywhere you know so you, the diaper bag is actually hang on the stroller so it's not like actually mom mom bag so I really like having this small bag on my wrist whenever I'm going out with kids because it has no crossbody strap and you think like it's not really comfortable it is actually comfortable like even carrying it on the crook of your arm like you you can still carry your baby and this is, will be like hanging on your on your crook of your arm to be honest like sorry i have like so many things inside so yeah i really really recommend to anyone who really wants to add this back and of course the small Jody as well the best bag but I bought it last year that's why I'm not including it here and the last bag that I want to add here although I recently unboxed this bag but it's already on my best purchases of this year because it is the best and it is my speedy 30 in this limited edition um, it's called Marquis de Posse Louis Vuitton collection I think this is from 2019 and I found it just like few, I think a month ago from a pre-loved store as well and when I saw it I was like in love because I've been looking for a, a like a very sturdy very functional travel bag and I wanted a speedy for a long time but I wanted a special uh, speedy I didn't want to go for Damier Bean or like a monogram one because I just wanted a fun speedy I've been looking for many 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 like years and I finally found the one that's perfect for my travels it has this beautiful Damier Bean like um, Damier style but it's different it's like it's like a gray and white um, and it has red handles, red top handle with a silver hardware. It has this green leather on the side and it has this baby blue strap. It kind of like doesn't make sense but still it's such a great bag and recently we went to Hol for a holiday and this was my travel bag and it just worked so well it goes so well under the seat of the plane like a plain seat and it's just so great it fits so much I didn't even fill it up like I, I had so many things inside and it was still half full it's just everything is so good about this bag the best part is I like the interior of the bag. It has the brown, um, brown like demir bean like 
uh, very very nice suede interior this back is done so beautifully after getting this speedy 30 now I want a speedy style bag I want I'm looking for a speedy 20 I'm crazy I want a speedy 20 now but I want something very unique and I also want another speedy 30 like this but like a, another unique piece. I don't know what's wrong with me. A lot of people really like, when, pe when a lot of people said, oh, Speedy is the best bag, I had no, like I didn't really understand. But now I do really understand. After this bag, everything changed. Now I want Speedies, more Speedies, to be honest, yeah. So these were my best of the best purchases of 2023. It was a great year for me. I added like best shoes, best uh, jewelry, best belt, best bags and best wallet. So it was a very good year for me. Hopefully next year I will be getting, I don't know, like I don't really plan to get a lot of bags. I feel like I have a very good collection already. Also, the handbag collection is coming soon. So I feel like I have really beautiful bags. I want to concentrate more on jewelry, kind of like going towards that route. We'll see uh, about that. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think of my best purchases. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and follow me on Instagram. Happy holidays one more time. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.